Today's video, I'm going to show you the blitz that basically kills bunch. This is the best bunch defense pretty much every single year. It's really good bunch defense, and it's going to be out of the dollar three two six formation. And the play we're going to be looking at is spinner. And the cool part about this is this is really custom designed, in my opinion, to be able to defend bunch specifically or bunch strong or bunch off uh, bunch strong offset really really well, which are the main offenses that you're going to see so the way this defense is going to work is we're going to leave auto flip off we're going to leave our auto alignment on default we're going to have our option defense on conservative and then what i like to do when i'm running spinner specifically is i like to put my zone coverage on match now from there we're actually going to come out in spinner i'm going to show you why it's really helpful to do that in just a minute but then also i did want to say if you guys want to get my entire chiefs defensive ebook i got six one dollar we're working on some dime stuff nickel stuff as well it's all in the patreon for only ten dollars the links in the description if you want to sign up for that to get that it gets you access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks that are fully optimized to help you win as many games as possible so if you want to get access to that the link's going to be down in the description below let's talk about spinner so what we're going to do here is this is kind of what the defense is going to look like when you come out against a bunch or a bunch strong type of look. So what all we're going to do is we are going to press. We're going to pinch our defensive line and we're going to stand about right here with our user. Now, at this point, the blitz is set up, but we're going to do two things that I think are going to really help the coverage aspect of the defense. We're going to put the corner on the left hand side of the screen into a outside third as you can see and then you kind of have some choices to make over here to the right what i prefer to do is just hard flat this slot corner on the right which will take away any like flat to the right side of the screen but it then does require your user to user the running back if he goes on a route we'll talk about how we can get around that in in a in a, in a minute but i just want to show you the basics of this blitz this is the best five-man blitz in the game as you see it's just going to scream it's going to come right up the a gap pretty much every single time and then if they do block somebody a lot of times what's going to happen with spinner specifically and this is what makes it so good another thing that makes spinner really underrated is your safeties are basically at the perfect depth they're not too far back but they're also not too close and it makes it really really good for uh, pass coverage now, if they block a running back, it's probably the best way to try to pick this blitz up, specifically the A-gap aspect of the defense. But I will say, in general, this defense screams a lot even if they do that. So even if they, you know, even if they pick up the blitz perfectly, then this blitz will shed. There's, there's a lot of value to this blitz. And again, I like to stand about right here and really try to drag this guy out of the way. And then, as you can see, we're going to get some really, really nice pressure. Now... Let's talk about the coverage aspect of the defense. It's going to make this a lot better for you. Now, if you're playing someone, and let's say they're running bunch offset, like they're running Colts bunch, right? One of my favorite ways to defend Colts is I really like to, to press the slot receiver. So we're going to take that blitzing slot corner, and we're going to man him up onto the slot receiver. Now, the only thing we have to worry about in this, in this case is going to be the tight end especially if you put this outside third here to the left. So what I like to do is I like to put this left side guy in a hook curl, and then I like to shade underneath, okay? And then what we're going to do is kind of up to you how you want to do this. You can man up the tight end with the safety if you want to do that. Or what you could also do is you could just put this guy in a curl flat, and then you're going to basically be kind of usering the tight end. So typically this guy will just be manned up on the tight end. We're going to play man coverage on the right, zone coverage on the left, really confuse them. And then you're going to get this really nice pressure. So as you see, this is going to do a really good job against double posts specifically. So like if I want to run the standard double post setup that everybody likes to run, we'll show you what this looks like. So again, I'm going to man the slot corner up on the slot receiver. I'm going to shade underneath. And then we're going to outside third, hook curl. Well, I would, I'm, I'm sorry, I would probably shade underneath after I put the hook curl on there because he'll play a thousand times better if he shaded underneath. But I would not shade underneath after manning the tight end up. I don't want the tight end to be shaded underneath. I want it to be like this. So you see here, I just got to kind of peek out here, work back to the back, and then by there, you know, it's, it's basically sack. So really, really like this specific defense against against double post. Now, the cool part is you can always, if you want to, um, kind of play a little bit super aggressive, which I ever now and then like to. It, we would do a defense that basically looks like this right here. 
and then we are the hard flat on the la on the right. So what we're going to do here is if they send the they send someone to the right side on the flat, then we're just going to run over there. And as you can see, we add a blitzer, and it's almost impossible to pick up the send six version of this blitz, just because there's a lot of like kind of areas that the blitzers can come in. So these are these are kind of my favorite two ways to run the defense: either send five or send six. And a lot of times, if if you send six you're almost guaranteed to get some pressure. The cool part about spinner really is, in my opinion, the alignment of the defense. You've got to get this like super press alignment. And the beauty of, this, of the press, especially when you have a solo wide receiver side, you can really do a lot with that outside third. And then it just allows you to really play kind of a shade underneath game where you're taking a lot of their quick reads away and you're sending pressure in behind it, which is what's going to make this defense super, super locked down for you. If you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks over there. And I guarantee you that it will help you become a better Madden player.